And so I'm Jeff Mullen, founder and CEO of Dynamics. Uh, what we've done is we've put an entire computing architecture into the size and shape of your standard credit card. We've put over 70 electric components uh, into one-tenth of a cubic inch of volume. And we've done this so that we can talk to the world's first card programmable magnetic stripe. So that computer architecture at any time can change any one of the 1,200 bits of information on that magnetic stripe at any given time. Uh, we've also uh, completely surrounded our electronics package in plastic that allows our, uh, our car programmable stripes to be completely scratch resistant. They will not scratch like normal stripes. And if I turn the cards on, I can dunk them in water and you can see the cars are completely waterproof. They can survive in your washing machines. There's not one card for everyone. There's different cards for different types of consumers. And so one type of consumer is the convenient oriented consumer. This is a card for them we call it multiple account. Quite put simply, multiple accounts in one. You have two printed account numbers and two buttons. Or to select an account, you just press the button next to the account, and then the card automatically rewrites all that MagStripe data so you can swipe it in the 90% of your purchases that are still done through 1970s Magnetic Stripe reading technology. Another segment of users is the users uh, that are security oriented, and so for them, we've eradicated a large portion of credit card fraud. This card has a paper thin flexible display. Or to turn this card on to use it, you have to enter an unlocking code that only you know into the face of the card. If you enter the right unlocking code, then your number is displayed visually, so you can use it for the 10% of your purchases that are done online. And then we rewrite all that mag data with your actual credit card information so you can use it in store. After a period of time, or when the user is done with the card, the display will completely erase and the mag stripe will completely erase, thus sucking all of that personal information back into the interior electronics of the car. The card's lost or stolen, it's irrelevant, it's a dead piece of plastic because no one knows your unlocking code in order to pick it up. And then three weeks ago, Citi, the largest credit card issuer in the world, announced their 2G line of credit cards based off of our, off of our technology. Uh, what they've allowed for is the real first functionality that allows you to redeem your points at the point of sale for a purchase. And so you can press one button if you want to pay for that purchase with credit. You can press the other button if you want to pay for that uh, with your dividend dollar uh, cash reward points. And so once again, there's not one card for everyone. There's multiple cards for different types of consumers. There's over 550 million credit cards in the U.S. right now, 500 million debit cards, and over a billion prepaid and gift cards. And so a successful release in this industry could be one of the largest consumer electronics deployments in human history. <laughs> When you start seeing these um, in consumers' hands? Sure, and so these actually have been in stealth pilots for most of the year in consumers' hands. Uh, we allow our issuers to announce um, their delivery schedules on their own timetables. And so City announced three weeks ago that they were going into national consumer trials uh, this month. And so you'll see a lot more of these cards on the market around the time of CES. Cool, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.